Hello. Hold on. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I am starting a little travel vlog. I'm taking a weekend break to go visit my friend. We're gonna go hang out in Rhode Island and like, I don't know, do some outdoor stuff. Since since starting vlogging, I feel like I actually take a lot of vacations, but it's, it's sort of like a, a nice pre-defense vacation, I think, just to like go someplace and chill for a little while. I'm into it. Anyways, so I thought I would uh, vlog it, you know, travel log for myself, for you. But of course, you guys want to know what books I'm bringing. Um, I am bringing these guys. Uh, oh, they, they look nice together, actually. Look at that. That's like a real stack. Anyways, so what I'm currently reading is How to Write an Autobiographical Novel by Alexander Cheat. This is an essay collection. Um, that I've been working on sort of since the beginning of the month. I'm like 60 pages in. Um, I've been really enjoying these essays, so I plan to con continue enjoying them, I guess. Yeah, this, this collection does sort of what it says on the tin. It's a collection of narrative essays, and it's mainly about um, growing up queer and biracial, at, at least so far. You know, I'm only 60 pages in. Um, but there's also some stuff about writing in there. I just read an essay about a uh, writing class that she took with Annie Dillard, and I was like, Annie! Anyways, so I'm really enjoying this one. I'm also bringing The Golden Gate by Vikram Seth. This is a novel in verse that I've already read and really like, and uh, yeah, I am going to read this for Linguathon. Um, so I thought this would be a good weekend to start and also... It's just like vibe wise, I feel like reading reading on a beach in Rhode Island see, seems like a good choice overall. Um, and then also, I actually bought the hardback of Piranesi because I've seen so many people rave about it. And I do like Susanna Clark, um, but normally I don't buy hardbacks. I mean, like, sorry, can can we look at this? The binding on this is so tight that I can't. I can't open the damn book. It's like, it's like too tight. I'm going to break the binding if I open it. So I hate hardbacks, but I did buy this and I really look forward to reading it. Although I did just see Karen just posted a video being like, it's terrible. <laughs> so, but I feel like Karen also has strong opinions about a lot of things and they're not necessarily going to be my opinions. Anyways. Um, so these, these are the books. I also have some ebooks out, but I need to choose an audiobook. But also, I have to leave in like 30 minutes, and I haven't thought about anything other than the books that I'm packing, so I should probably pack pack. Um, yeah, I'm taking the train, which is sort of wild. I haven't taken the train in like a year and a half, um, but I have thankfully been able to get fully vaccinated and I'm going to wear like the KN99 or KN95 uh, mask and stuff like that. So it should be fine. Um, I do think that, you know, even despite all these great books that I have to read, I think it might be a bit of a slow reading weekend because I'm going to try to work on my thesis on the way there on the train and then work on my thesis on the way back. We'll see how focused I can be. Um, I do have, so my thesis is due sort of in a little bit over the, a month at this point, and um, I'm about a fourth of the way done. Like, I already have, like, maybe a fourth written, but it's, it's going to be a thing. So I, I think if I can just, like, bang out a big section of the discussion while I'm on the train, I'm going to feel a lot better about myself in my life. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't I don't know how much I'm going to be vlogging because I feel a little bit awkward with my friend there, but this is like one of my best childhood friends, so she can deal with this. It should be fine. Uh, yeah, ho hopefully I'll, I'll uh, see you guys soon. Oh, we also get to see the new like rebranded Penn Station because that happened. Um, I'm excited to see if it's not terrible. I think that it it probably will still be terrible because you can't fix Penn Station. That's just that's just the law of New York. But we'll see. I'm excited. Okay, I'll talk to you later.
pizza. It's a vlog, yo. Oh yeah, we never finished this explanation. Tomorrow will be nicer. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, look at you. Oh, strike a pose. Beautiful. <laughs> look confused. I can't, do my eyes? <laughs> they do. update so i'm in rhode island it's been a little bit cold and rainy so we spent a lot of time indoors uh watching tv and stuff but today's a little bit better so that'll be fun to go i think we're gonna go to newport and like just walk around a little bit overall gonna be a low-key weekend but checking in about books so I started reading The Golden Gate by Vikram Seth, which I had talked about in my April TBR. Um, I've read this one before, but it is quite fun. I sort of forgot that it takes a little while to get into it and like remember the meter and everything. It's written in a sonnet form, but it, it's like a linear novel with like in, in sonnet verse, I guess. I don't know how to speak poetry, but the sonnet form isn't like the classic well, Shakespearean sonnet. It's like uh, the sonnet form used by Pushkin in um, Eugene Onegin. Um, so that's really fun. <laughs> it's literally, he, he really committed to it. It's to the point where like, let me find it. Eh. Like his, his acknowledgments here are in sonnet form. The the dedication is and also the table of contents like the title of each chapter together forms a little like sonnet stanza so really really committing to that i'm about 50 pages in i feel like um like people talk about a suitable boy being very um jane austian i guess uh, i haven't ever read it but i think that that sort of sensibility also comes through in this book like it's you know at least in the beginning very interested in i don't know who's who's pairing up with who or whatever so it's sort of it starts out pretty fun and light um i think some people might find the language and the fact that it's in verse a little bit frustrating because you know there are definitely sections where it's like like this is written out so that it it fits in this style. Um, I, I find it really fun. Uh, so yes, I'm enjoying that a lot. I'm also reading um, Alexander Chi's essays. I'm on a really, really good one right now called Girl. Yeah, which is basically about Chi's first experience with drag um, in the Castro in, I think the 1980s or 1990s. Don't know how old he is. Anyways, um, this this has been a really meaningful essay collection so far. I'm like, I don't know, 80 pages in, um, and I'm really enjoying it. I think this is my favorite essay so far. And yeah, it's, it's just, it spans a lot of different topics, um, but it's really quite profound. Talks a lot about gender and race and sexuality and also writing. And like there's a whole essay on tarot, which is sort of fun. So I'm really enjoying this. I think um, it's definitely one of these essay collections that's sort of like more of a memoir in essays, but I really like that form a lot more than just memoir memoir because I think that that's sort of like being able to change topics or, or talk about your life in a more episodic way um, is to me much more true to life than like trying to squeeze your life into like a linear narrative that spans 300 pages or whatever. So I'm really enjoying this. Okay, that's all. I'll talk to you guys later.
time I try to make a bean burger, it's dried and t- terrible, so I just assume that there's no way to do it correctly. We made That's that. absolutely untrue. I make... <laughs> I would come do a little end of vlog update because I realized I didn't do a very good job of all that this time. It's gonna be a short and sweet reading vlog. I feel like that's okay. So overall I didn't make much more progress in uh, the Golden Gate Um, but hopefully this week I'm gonna get to that more. I got really into how to write an autobiographical novel, which is great because I haven't been reading a lot of, uh, essays recently, and this one has just really caught me. Honestly, it's, it's quite a bit different than what I expected it to be. I haven't read any of Alexander Chi's, um, novels. The only thing I've read from him was a sort of, like, I guess it was an essay, but it was sort of an essay blog post on Medium about like buying a haunted house in Vermont and fixing it up. Um, so I I don't know why, but I sort of thought that his his essays would be more like I don't know r- rural and calm, but they're actually really interesting. It's sort of all about his experiences as. A uh, gay rights activist in San Francisco in the early 90s Um, and that sort of community and experience is like really interesting but really tragic obviously because the AIDS crisis was a huge deal um, at the time and now but at least we have some better drugs now I guess Um, so that all those essays are are really really interesting and I'm enjoying it a lot Um, I think this would be a great essay collection to pick up in June if you want to do like LGBTQ specific reading for pride anyways um yeah there's some finger marks on this because my greasy greasy fingers but yeah I'm, I'm about halfway through this one now and have been really enjoying it I think overall for the weekend I read like 150 or 200 pages so that's not bad for a weekend I was spending with my friend and I did you know in- enjoy turning off for a couple days over over the weekend I actually like set my defense date and stuff like that so now it's real and now I have to like actually get my thesis done um so I have I, my, I'm like vaguely aiming for like 50,000 words. That's like a totally arbitrary number. A lot of theses are shorter than that, but like I tend to write, I tend to underwrite, so I need to like write to a word goal sometimes in order to like expand my thoughts enough. Um, So that's vaguely my goal. I'm under 20,000 words right now, so I have a lot to go. Um, And yeah, I have to turn a draft into my boss in three weeks. So. I'm a little worried. It's fine. Anyways, um, thank you so much for coming along with me on this vlog. And I don't know. What's up? What are we doing? I guess I'm signing off. Uh, Thank you. And I'll see you next week. Bye.